Hello everyone, my name is Kaushal Kumar from Kaushal Kumar LLC. This video will teach you the steps to install Visidial on VirtualBox. Before you begin, you need to download and install VirtualBox on your Windows or Mac PC. If you don't have it already, you can download the VirtualBox from the official website at virtualbox.org. Also, you will need the Visidial installation disk. You can get that from visibox.org. I will leave the download links in the description for your convenience. So let's get started. So we need to prepare a virtual machine to boot from the VisiBox ISO. To do that, we have to open the virtual box screen, click on new, give a name for this installation. I'll give the name as uh, VisiBox version eight, select the type as other, select the version as other unknown 64 bit, click on next. So this screen will ask you to select a memory size that you are going to assign to this virtual machine. So for this installation, I will give it 1024 MB that stands for one gigabyte. I'll click on next. The next step is to create a virtual hard disk. So we'll leave it as it is. We'll click on create and we'll click on next again. So we'll select a fixed size hard disk and we'll click on next. So this screen will ask you to assign a hard disk size. So for this installation, let's keep it as uh, 10 GB. You can give it as eight gigabytes or 20 gigabytes. It's up to you, but I'm selecting 10 gigabytes here. We'll click on create. It takes some time to create the virtual hard drive. So it says uh, around 20 seconds remaining to create a virtual hard disk. So once this is done, the next step would be to mount the disk image of uh, VisiBox version 8 so that this virtual machine can boot from it. So we'll do that once uh, this hard disk creation is complete. So you see, we'll see that VisiBox version 8 virtual machine is created. We'll give right click here. We'll click on settings. We'll click on storage here and we'll click on empty. So what we can do is uh, on the right hand side, we'll uh, click on uh, this uh, small uh, icon and we'll click on choose virtual optical disk file. So we'll browse the VisiBox ISO that we have downloaded from the VisiBox official website. We'll select that, click on open, click on okay. We are ready to boot the system. It's time to power up your uh, VisiBox version 8 virtual machine. We'll click on start. It will take some time to open up or to boot up with the, the ISO that we have put on. So as soon as it's here, you'll get a, a screen like this. Hit enter on VisiBox V8. After you do that, it will do some necessary preparations to install the OS. So let's wait for that. So once we are at this screen that says VisiBox 8 login, uh, we'll log in with our root credentials. The default user is root, we'll hit enter. And the password is V-I-C-I-D-I-A-L. When you input the password, it won't show up on the screen. So just type the password and hit enter. So we see that we are logged in now. The next step is to install the operating system. The command for that is OS minus install. Once we type that, hit enter. It will start the OS installation process. The first screen that you see is the language, keyboard and license agreement. So we'll leave that as it is and we'll hit F10 to go to the next screen. The next screen will ask us to select the clock and time zone. 
If you want to select a different region, you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard to navigate up and down. So for this installation, we'll select the region as USA. And if you want to select the time zone under USA, we'll tap on tab and then we can use the arrow keys to select our time zone. So for this installation, let's select it as uh, Pacific Los Angeles. Once we do that, we'll hit F10 to go to the next screen. This screen will give you a suggested partitioning. In most cases, it works. If it does not give you any suggestions for partitions, leave a comment in the video and I'll help you with that. The suggested partitioning says to create a swab volume of 1.46 GB and to create a root volume of 8.54 GB. So we'll go with that. So we'll hit F10 again to go to the next screen. This screen will ask you to type a new password for the root user. So for this installation, I will keep the password as it is. That's wizard dial. We'll confirm the password. It's advised to keep a strong password. If you don't do that now, you can always change that later. Hit F10 to go to next screen. Since you are using a weak password, it will give this warning. So we'll hit enter. So this screen will give you a preview of what we are going to do with installation. So this is all right. So we'll hit F10 to go with the installation process. Again, it will ask you for a confirm installation. Just do that. Press tab, go to install and press enter. The installation has started. It will take a while. The installation is complete now. You need to reboot your virtual machine at this point. Before you do that, we need to remove the ISO that we have mounted into the system. So for that, we'll select reboot later, hit on enter, and we will go to machine. We'll click on ACPI shutdown. The machine is shutting down now. The machine is switched off now. We'll click on settings here. We'll go to storage. We'll click on VCBox V8 ISO here. And uh, we'll click on here. It says remove circuit storage. Click on remove. So we have removed the VCBox ISO now. The system can boot from the hard drive now. Click on OK. To initiate the second phase of installation, you need to power on your virtual machine. So we'll click on start. It will take some time for your VCBox machine to boot up. So let's wait for that. Once the initial bootup is completed, you will be prompted with your login ID and password. The login ID is root, hit enter, and the root password that you created last time, you can simply put that here. Once you type the password, nothing will show up here. You have to type the password, hit enter, and you are logged in. Next, you will type in VICI BOX minus Express. So this command will initiate the VCBox installation process. So once you type that, press enter. So it says, do you want to continue with the VCBox Express install? Type Y, hit enter.
Once the process completes, you'll be back to the screen. As of now, to load everything cleanly, type reboot and press enter. So we see that Visadile is loading up. It will load up all the services that is required to run this in the background. It will take a while when it boots up and then we'll look at web interface. Once the reboot is complete, you'll see the VCBox 8 login screen. So log in with the root user. The user is, the user is root. And the password is VCDial. It's the password that you have created while installation. Press enter. Type in the command ifconfig. It will show you the IP address that has been assigned to this virtual machine. Press enter. The IP address that you see here is 192. 168.56.101. Let's put that in your browser. 192.168.56.101. All right, so you have the login screen here. So you now understand that installation of Visadile on VirtualBox is easier than you think. The Visadile instances on VirtualBox is not recommended for production environment. If you intend to rent a pre installed Visadile server, you can head over to our website. We offer Visadile cloud servers on rent in four continents with 15 locations worldwide. All servers are built on SSD and pre-installed with Visadile. The servers are available in different hardware configurations and can be deployed in less than an hour. You can buy our Visadile server as they are fast, highly secured and managed by Visadile professionals. In case you have some questions, leave a comment here or head over to our website for our contact details. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for more tutorials on Visadile. Thank you very much.